Hey everyone, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to write guitar tablature or guitar tab with MuseScore. MuseScore is a freely available open source piece of software for uh, writing musical notation. You can do everything from regular treble clef or bass clef to a guitar tablature. And so today we're going to be talking about how to do guitar tablature with it. All right, so I have this example here, and we, I'm going to use this example to show you the different types of uh, guitar tablature notation this uh, software can do, because it can do some variations here. This right here is what's called full tablature, and it actually has the um, fingering plus the type of note, whether it's like an eighth note or a half note or a uh, quarter note. Uh, so it puts that notation in there for you. Um, now, if I go up here to edit and go down to instruments, or I could hit the I key, uh, you'll see it shows the staff and then it shows the type of tablature uh, that it is right here, or the type of instrument, actually. If we click on here, we can change it like to a standard notation, which would be treble clef, but also we can change um, from full to what's called common. If we click OK, you see it puts the note type, whether it's a, an eighth note or a quarter note or a half note or whatever, below the tablature. So if you want to do this type of notation, you can do it. I'm going to hit the I key again, bring up our box. And um, also you'll note here, you can do four strings, like if you want to do bass, five strings. You can do the ukulele. It has different uh, instruments here. You can do um, even uh, a custom tablature down here uh, or other custom for like percussion, custom standard. So you can do all sorts of different types of, of staffs here. Uh, so we're going to go to the simple notation and click OK. The simple notation only puts the fingering on it. Uh, and uh, if you do this notation, as you can see, you can switch back and forth between them. And we go back here to uh, our box here. We'll put it back to full. Uh, but if you, if, you, if you write it in simple tablature, you still have to select the note so that it knows what length of note to use. Uh, otherwise, if you just use one note, like say if you used all quarter notes or if you used all eighth notes, it would still write the tablature. But when you switched it back and forth, it wouldn't have the correct note type unless you put those in. So if you, you do either uh, common or full, you can convert it back to simple very easily. Uh, but if you just do um, uh, simple, you need to remember to put the note length in as well so that you'll have that if you want to switch it to um, common or full. All right. So let's go up here to new um, and we're going to create a new score. You can put your title, your composer, lyric, whatever you want up in here uh, for the details of it. We're just going to skip over that. Uh, so we're going to go down here into solo and that's where it has a guitar, which is just standard uh, treble staff. Uh, we have guitar and tablature, which is gives you a treble staff and a tablature staff. And you have just tablature, which was the one that was the example here behind. So if we go to guitar and tablature, you'll see it, it has both staffs there. That's what we're going to use. So we're going to go to next. We can put our key signature. We can add a tempo there if we want to. And uh, we can put um, our time signature uh, there. And what we're going to do is we're going to finish. And so it sets up a treble staff and a tab staff. These are connected to each other. So if we enter anything in the tab staff, it's going to put the actual note for it up above. If we put the actual note above, it will put the fingering below. thing to remember, though, is the guitar is a stringed instrument, so uh, we can play certain notes on any ones of the strings here. 
so uh, particularly as we get up a little bit higher so there may be multiple different fingerings you could use on multiple different strings for different notes so if you put the uh, if you put the notes in it will figure out what the um, the fingering is but it's going to take a guess at it and you may want a different fingering so you would have to adjust that thing to note up he here to the left is if we click here there's a thing that says note input if you check that that's for note input if you uncheck it it's it will select the uh, measure uh, you can also hit the N key which is the fastest way to switch back and forth so right now we we're in just measure format or what are we in no we're in step time all right so we can click on the measure and select the measure actually we want to collect select the first measure and in order to to, to enter a, a note or a fingering we're going to have to hit N then and you see that it it just picks the top um, line in the tab we can use the air up and down arrow key to switch what string we're on and so uh, let's go down here and just put enter a um, fingering so we just put a number in so I'm going to put zero in there if I hit the arrow key um, over one it will put the next um, note uh, the fingering for the next note if you look above the treble staff it's already put the correct note in up here but it's put a rest it, it's added a rest it's changed the length of the rest so this adds up to four so it automatically does that so the next note we put in let's put a four here uh, it will put it will get rid of that um, uh, quarter rest and uh, just leave the half rest there and um, if we go over again and put another fingering or note and again it, it starts to fill them in we're using quarter notes right now we could use any note that we wanted and it would calculate out the rests left for the measure for us which is a nice feature now if we hit the delete key it gets rid of that note and puts a rest up above we're going to go back and hit the delete key again and we're going to hit it again uh, now so right up now i'm on the next note on the tab that would appear and you can see there's a uh, quarter rest above us on the treble clef here if i press the arrow key and skip that space and uh, put a, another fingering or note mm -hmm. in there it will put a uh, it will put a rest in between those two notes so I'm going to delete it again and I'm going to go back I'm going to put a four mm -hmm. here and in fact I'm going to go up to the next line and put a zero and a three so now we have a measure right here um, so we can also as I said switch to the eighth note and we, let's go over to the next measure and if we hit a zero and a three and a zero, oops, I don't want to do that. And a zero and a three. You can see they're eight notes now. Now, if, if I put the wrong note, so say I put a zero here and, and I make the mistake like I just did before, or I put a nine, I can go back to this as long as this is selected and I can change whatever the fingering is in the note so I could put a three there and so on so so now we have um, now we have another measure that has eighth notes in it so now say I want to copy these uh, I don't have to I don't have to write rewrite these again if I need these in another spot I can hit the uh, toggle off the note key again and click on the first measure and uh, if I have 
I can I can hold the shift key down, click on the last measure, and it will it will um, select all the measures in between, and I can um, hit Control C to copy it, and then I can select the next measure and hit Control V, and it will copy everything. Now the other thing that we can do is, if we have this selected down here, and we hit the up arrow key. It will take everything up a half step and it will keep the same pattern. So we can hit the arrow key multiple times or we can take it down. We could also select um, a measure or measures in the treble um, uh, staff above and hit the up or down arrow key and it will move everything up and down. So that's another feature there so that you can, uh, if you have a pattern and you want to move the pattern up a half step and continue with the same pattern, you can, you can do it and it will actually um, calculate it out for you, which is a very nice step. Uh, finally, the other thing we can do is if we hit this and go back to the beginning and hit this play. It will actually play what you have there and as you saw as we hit each note it actually you can hear the note and what um what what note it is so those are both very nice features to have so that's basically how you write um guitar tab or tablature in music or muse score uh and uh i'm mungo dark matter and this has been dark manners and whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.